Hello friends. In this video, we will understand about the how do we download this Pokey project in Yocto and how do we set up the build environment and you may build an image, a minimal uh, image and then how do you run that image on a uh, emulator called as a quick emulator in Yocto project. Okay, so this I have written a small blog post. So whatever I have explained in this, I'll be showing it in a demo format in this video right so you can go through this uh, blog post also whose link I'll be putting in the description below or you might be looking at this video and this blog post itself okay so first there are some basic prerequisites for a pokey project to build a pokey project some prerequisites are there like At least you have to have 50 GB of free space. Uh, the Pokey uh, Yocto project uh, says it has to be 50 gigabytes, but in my experience, I have seen that at least uh, 70 to 90 GB space you need in order to, if you want to build multiple images uh, uh, without deleting the build folder and all. Okay. If you are not understanding anything, what is Pokey, what is building the image, all those, don't worry. This is a starting uh, part, so you can get to know various uh, terms and all from this uh, first part of this blog uh, series post, which is here. So what is Yocto and what is Pokey and we will talking about various metadata, configuration files and all those things and all. So what they are exactly, those things and all can be learnt, understood from this. So this blog post, I keep on updating as and how I come across new terminology and all right so in this the purpose of this video is for you to if you have a ubuntu machine linux machine with 50 gigabytes and you have to install git uh, tar and python these three you have to install so if you have these things then just to download a pokey project and build uh, set up the build environment build the project uh, build an image and run that image on an emulator called as a quick emulator or camo for short okay how to do that the step by step steps are given in this blog and is this video i am going to demonstrate that okay so i have a google machine here in which i will log in Okay, so so in this is a Ubuntu machine. Uh, so I have 50 GB of space. I have Python installed, Git installed, and uh, a tar installed. So I'll just open a terminal here. So right click and click on Open Terminal. So let me show what is what are the various versions I have. So uh, Git minus minus version. If you type this, then you know. I have git version I have Python minus minus version okay uh, this the spelling mistake is there so Python so a Python 3 version has been installed and tar also yeah, so tar version, these are already installed. So we have made sure that uh, Git, Python, and tar are installed. And I'll clear the screen. Mm, if I want to see how much space is there, right? So df minus h is human readable. So how much space we have? In this we can see in our machine so we have total 146 GB right you have to have at least 50 GB space for you to run this so clear I'll clear it again right so let me start now so first what we have to do is create a 
no folder in which we are going to download the pokey project from git repository okay so let's say in let's see where i am present now so present directory if i want to see then pwd is a command for that so i am in home inside sham so let me make a directory called as mkdir make directory let me call it as learning okay so i have made that so let me see what are the so have i created that yes so here you can see learning folder has been created okay so let me enter that change directory and from this i want to enter learning directory okay so you have learned that so right now the present directory is so home sham from this we were here now we have entered in learning okay so inside this right now we don't have anything right now uh, if i list then there's nothing right so here learning folder has been created so there is empty it is empty right now right so now let me clear it the screen so now the next step since i have created a folder now in this i'm going to download the pokey project from uh, the yocto uh, git repository okay so in git repository we have we will clone it so you can download it from going to github uh, and download it manually or since we are in ubuntu it's command based so let me just clone that as git is a command with that i'm going to clone there is a function and the location is git quotation double slash like how we have https uh, colon double slash like that only git colon double slash git dot uh, yocto project all in small caps dot org uh, in that yocto project we want to download pokey right so i'm downloading pokey so here it's cloning so internet connection is required so when internet connection is there so it's going to download the uh, from repository the pokey project all the files of pokey so here now you can see pokey is being created here pokey folder is being created so it's being cloned right now so let us wait till it gets finished yeah 100 is done so it's completed so now we have pokey here right good so i have entered into pokey folder so now i am in so there is pokey let me enter the pokey change directory cd pokey all small caps enter now i am in pokey right here what are the various folders available okay so all these are available now right so let me clear i what i want you guys is just follow whatever i'm whatever i'm doing just pause the video do whatever I did then continue and whatever i'm doing just keep on following that so that you will get a feel of building an image and running it in camo so that's a basic part okay that's the purpose of this video don't worry if you don't understand any of the terms i'm talking right now in coming videos and coming blog posts i'll be talking about these terms in detail and make you understand these things okay so here let me see right now in git if you know about git and github so you uh, know that we are in the master branch so let me check in which branch we are so git branch so we are in the master branch right now right so but master branch is for developers so it, whatever is come latest commit which is present in this master branch may not be uh, complete there may be some open points available so in the building an image some problems may come so what we will do is i know already there is an existing branch which is completed called as zeus z e u s so let me check out that branch right so git check out zeus Zeus is one of the branch of the uh, Pokey project. So it says branch Zeus setup to track remote branch from origin switch to new branch Zeus. Right now, if you check for git branch, you can see that we are switched from master to Zeus. Right. So we will be working on this Zeus branch itself. So we will see. We can see what various. Uh, 
folders here right so you have bitbake contrib documentation meta meta pokey meta self test meta skeleton meta octo bsp scripts and here various licenses some other files are present right all these are available right now you don't have to understand what those are exactly in few coming uh, lectures i'll be explaining those in detail so right now what we have to do is we have something called as a build system like a compilation compilation stages which will take all these files uh, source files which are present in this pokey project pokey is a reference project like an example project for this yocto project right uh, so it will bitbake is a command which will take all these uh, files and generate the image right so let me try bitbake and the image i want to create is minimal so for that the name is core image minimal okay i'll try this yeah so bitbake command is not found because the bitbake is not a recognized yet so we just downloaded but the underlying machine ubuntu does not recognize this bitbake right so we have to add this bitbake command and the scripts to the existing uh, environmental variable uh, path and then we have to then it we will be able to run it so instead of doing it manually one good thing about pokey is we already have a script called as oe init build environment this script is already written it is written in a shell scripting language what this does is it will set up the build environment means it will first of all create a build folder and add the basic recipes and also it will add the bitbake command and various scripts commands to the environment variable of the underlying linux os okay so right now if i try to print the path you can see yes been been these things are there bitbake is not there okay so let me clear so currently i am in pokey so let me uh, run this uh, oe init build env so for that the command is so urc is source and this is the script i am going to run so i just typed o and pressed uh, tab so since there's the only file available uh, with the starting name o in this so uh, it directly takes it so source and that file name i am giving and i am running that script so you can see here that that run is, script is run and now uh, you can now run bitbake because bitbake is recognized so i will be showing you star path now if i show the path now you can see in this the pokey scripts are been added to the uh, environmental variable and also it has added the bitbake command to the environment variable so now the bitbake command will be re realized and we can create various kinds of images uh, core image minimal this is the smallest uh, image possible uh, sato if with this we will be able to get gui graphical user interface uh, meta tool chain uh, id support so these are the basic various uh, images which are we can create right now i'm going to go for a core image minimal okay so let me clear the screen okay right so now we will able to go into right uh, so you can also notice that we were pre previously present in pokey folder now uh, since after running the script it has made the current working project directory also as inside the build right so here what i'm going to do is I am going to bitbake, bitbake core image minimal. Just go through this and run it. So here 
it will parse all the recipes and create the task and it will run so if you are doing this for the first time like how i am doing it it is going to take a lot of time at least minimum 2 to 3 hours if your computer internet connection is so good and if you are running on some 4 cores 8 cores and all and if its internet connection is weak and you are running on a uh, two core or single core and all then it's going to take a whole day maybe okay and if your internet connection is gone then some error and all will be thrown so restore the internet connection and then again uh, initialize the variable that is run this uh, script by source uh, and running the script and again give bitback core image minimal as i have shown here okay so it will be running like that So once your uh, bitbake is completed, so it will show like uh, all are succeeded here. You will be seeing this and you can see here it is running on the build system is x86 Linux and the target system is also x86 uh, Pokey Linux. So it's a compilation. If you are trying to go for a different uh, target system, then it will be using a cross compilation and the it can be run on a chemo emulator right so these things are done so the build uh, is completed and the core minimal image is already built now we will be trying to run that so to run that you have to use the command run chemo r u n q e m u all in small caps and just give the enter so it's trying to start this emulator and it will ask for a sudo password right so you have to be having a sudo access in order to run this emulator and i am going to give this uh, note that when i enter the password nothing will be appearing there but it doesn't mean it is not taking the password so enter the proper password and then hit the enter button so i'll do that I enter the password and entering so now it is starting you can see here the chemo is started so it will ask for uh, logging so what chemo uh, what the image which you have created is also a Linux kernel based image so we will have a root uh, you log in as a root uh, initially there will not be any password uh, set for this so just giving the username as root we have entered logged in into this uh, system so you can see this chemo is there chemo is a pop-up it is an emulator in this emulator our image is running now so here all you can see all the boot up is happening and here i have logged in here so here you can run basic commands like date i want to say right see tuesday january 19th time utc 2021 okay so date is given so our image is running on the emulator so if you instead of building it on the uh, emulator if you try to build it uh, for a arm machine or a beagle bone machine and if you flash it in that then that in this os or image will be running on that if you don't have those um, boards or embedded systems we can try to see how it functions our b image works fine or not on this emulator and that's what we are doing so if you once if you are uh, completed doing this and if you want to exit this chemo you can either close it by this button or the better way is to shut down so the option you have to give is power off if you give it here power off then see <coughs> it will shut down it's exiting sending process ending the process or press to term signal terminating signal term means terminate kill signals are also sent so chemo is ended right this video you have got a basic idea and a feel of how to download the pokey and 
uh, enter into different branch of it, check out the different branch and set up the build environment, uh, building a minimal image and then uh, running it on the camo, the image, whatever is built is running it on a quick emulator, right? So we are not developed any application or etc of our own yet, but just you have got a feel of that. So in coming uh, further lectures, you will try to understand various components of this uh, Yocto project of this Pokey and what those those mean, how do we de develop on our own application, etc. And then we will try to understand. If you are not understood anything, you can watch this video again and again. Or also you can uh, pass through this uh, step by step guide to the uh, in this uh, blog post okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video uh, hope to see you soon bye bye